So after this video, you're going to make the darkest beats for Sleazy Wargo. Okay, Sleazy loves to work at around 160 BPM. So let's use the 165. That's a good tempo. I've already opened the analog lab because I'm going to start with a piano. Because piano is the perfect instrument for this type of beats. So you already know I like to use the piano temp from analog lab bank. And now let's lay down a melody. I'm just using uh, these two semitones that are basically just notes close together that are going to create the tension. And I also repeated three times the G sharp to create some bounce. So I think I can just copy this over. And this will be our foundation. Okay, of course, now we can add some bass notes. If you want to add the bass notes, you just need to follow the bottom note of the chord that you are using. We are basically using a minor chord, but we are taking out the middle note, so we need to use a G sharp. Now in this case I'm using a D that is not in the scale, but it's going to sound good so we're just going to use this, but we need to pay attention to not use the D sharp or it will sound bad. Yeah, that's good. We can also duplicate the bass notes one octave down. And I'm just going to paste these bass notes in a new piano so we have them separated. So we are already creating the vibe that uh, we are looking for, but I want to add a little top melody on this. Ooh. That's crazy. Also, if you want to make the piano more realistic, you can mess with the velocity. Like in this case, we can make a fading effect like this. Okay, so on this piano, I already have some effects, but I want to add an EQ. We can remove the low end. Then we can also add some delay on this. I like to put the time on the 4. Yeah, that's fire. Okay, I really like this foundation, but I want to add some other instruments, of course. In a lot of beats that Sleazy World uses, I heard the violins, so I'm just going to use the solo violin in Expand, and let's find a melody. We can follow a little bit also the top notes of the piano. And here we can go down. Now this violin isn't sounding good, but I'm going to add some reverb on this. But now I want to copy all the notes one octave up, and I'm going to lower a little bit the velocity. Yeah, I think it's fire. Before I want to add an EQ. So like this can work. You can also pan it on the right. Yeah, that's fire. Okay, at this point of the beat, I like to add some textures that are unique and are going to make this beat more interesting because that's what uh, is going to make you stand out from the competition. I'm just going in my analog lab bank and I want to use one of these harps. This one is pretty unique, so let's use this. Also here I just used a minor chord but I took out the middle note and then here I went up just to create some variation. But now we need to add some effects on this because we can't leave it like this. So the first thing that I want to add is Portal. It is a crazy plugin if you want to create something unique. Oh yes and before I have an EQ. Let's try to find a preset that I like. Yeah this one is crazy. Let's try to add also of time on this.
Yeah, that's interesting. We can try to render this and uh, maybe speed it up. Portal is messing with the start times of the sample. I can see where it is starting. So I'm just going to click uh, normalize and uh, lower the volume of it. So now we can see the waveform and we can see where it's starting. Yeah, that's perfect. Yeah, I think it's fire, man. Yeah, that's crazy. I think it's fire, man. We're getting a good beat. Now I want to add the one last instrument to create some variation that we can use in the arrangement. And that's really important because otherwise the beat is going to be boring. But before, I wanted to tell you that the sounds that I use in this video are from the Cryptic Multi Kit you already know. And if you want to check it out, the link is in the description. Right now, the kit is at a really low price, but the discount will end on the 3rd of January, so don't miss out. So I'm just going to use the Fake Strings one, that's basically a pad. And here I just want to create some chords that are really simple. Yeah, let's take out the middle note. Yeah, I like that. Now let's try to mix a little bit the beat. The volume of the melodies is too high because I like to have it on the 12. Yeah, some like this can work. That's why I have a melody bus, so I can add some effects and, and change the volume of uh, all of them in one. And on this melody bus, as always, I have stereo shaper to make this sound more wide with this preset, and an EQ to cut the low end, that's it. I like this melody, but I think uh, we can spice it up a little bit more. I want to try to add the portal on all the melodies. Yo, this preset is fire. A baby is too much for this beat, so let's try to move the wet a little bit down. Yeah, it's adding a nice texture. Okay, it's lazy word beats. Usually start with a 8 bar intro, like this. This will be the hook. And then on the verse I like to take out almost everything. I usually see that they don't have a bridge in the middle of the beat, but they just jump from the verse to the hook. So now let's add some crazy drums on this. In the last track of Sleazy World Go, I heard that they used a Detroit bass for the intro, so I'm just going to use one. I will go in the new kit that I'm making. Yeah, this one is perfect. And then the drop is going to be crazy. Yeah, that's fire, man. So I'm just going to use the drums from Enigma Multikit. And uh, for this type of beats, I like to use this snare. Yeah, this one. Yeah. Let's also rose on the hi-hats. I like to use one third step or half step. Now let's go with one third. And here on the end, we could set the grid on one third beat. It will turn out fire with the 8082. Let's do something like this. Now I'm just going to select everything and click Alt-R to randomize the pan and the velocity. For the type of beats, I like to follow the 808 with the head. So I'm just going to do something like this because I really know I will follow this pattern with the 808. Let's add also a snare to create some bounce. And here at the end we can add some rolls. Let's uh, use the triplets by selecting one third beat.
And then we can select one third step and add some rows also here. Yeah, I think it's fire. Let's move also the pen. For these beats, the spins is always perfect, so... And here at the end, we can also come again into one third beat and add some triplets also here. That's crazy, man. Hey, hey, hey. And to make that 8 to 8 hit, I just uh, make the volume higher until it's on the tree. And then I have a soft creeper on the master. So I hope you enjoyed this video, if you liked it, remember to drop a sub, like and comment, and check out this video now to make dark beats in 2024.